while the Great Barrier Reef still has areas of immense beauty. A lot of it is dying. Seas of dead or dying coral thrive where vibrant coral gardens once stood. In the past two years, the reef has lost over half its coral. This shot of a vibrant yellow and purple anemone was taken in November 2016. This is the exact same anemone nine months later bleached and pale white. Humphead parrotfish, like this guy here, feed on the dead reef. Luckily for him, there is no shortage of food. While the reef is dying, it is not too late to restore it to its former glory. If we act now, it stands a chance. Dying, not dead. To put it simply, we don't have long to act. If we keep burning coal at the current rate, the reef will not survive. The best way of protecting our reef from climate change is to do everything we can to stop burning fossil fuels, to stop expanding coal mines through subsidies and taxpayer money. Greenpeace are constantly lobbying against this and are pooling their resources to help tackle these bigger issues. But public support is critical. You can assist by signing Greenpeace's petition or donating to the cause, or even through small things like educating yourself about the Great Barrier Reef's current state or educating others around you. Alternately, you can use environmentally friendly gardening products and fertilizers. And remember that when you visit the Great Barrier Reef, never to touch the coral or the animals surrounding. Dine, not dead.